So if you know anything about medicine, then you know July 1st is the day where a bunch of new doctors flood the hospital. And if you're a patient, then you may just see me because this week I managed to finish my first week as a practicing physician. And in this video, guys, I'm going to tell you how that week went and what I expected, what I didn't expect, and how it's different than being a med student. All of that, we're going to get to it after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here for the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. If you are new to this channel, quick introduction. My name is Lux. I am a first year internal medicine resident. And I've been making these videos and blog posts to help students just like you on how to succeed on a medical journey and not to survive. So if you enjoyed this video, first of all, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and join the community for more weekly videos. Also check out all the playlists that we have on the channel, including how to study, what it's like to be a doctor and so much more. So let's get into today's video, which is how was my first week as a doctor? And I'll be brief now and I'll give some more details throughout, but it was hard games. It was challenging. I felt incompetent quite often, but it was also super gratifying. Um, and just to back up this week, I started my first week as a resident physician and I was on the neurology stroke service. So I was helping diagnose and manage patients with stroke or suspected strokes and all the complications that come with that. And there's a lot of new things, things that I expected as well as things that I did that came up this week. The first one is this bad boy here. So this is my pager and it is something that looks cool for everyone that's not a resident or a doctor to have. But as soon as this bad boy starts beeping, everybody freaks out because that means one of your patients needs something and you hope it's not serious. And I remember my very first day during my lunch conference, it went off and I jumped out of my chair. I didn't even know how to work it. I barely know how to work it. And I didn't know how to call the person back. Um, so having a pager on you and just knowing that you are literally like one page or call away to taking care of your patients is kind of like nerve wracking because you hope that You've done everything to make sure the nurses don't have a reason to call you. And you also hope that your patient is doing well and that no one ever has to paint you. But it's on me. I don't have to get used to it. And it's probably one of the weirdest things about being a doctor. Now, the second weird thing about being a doctor is that now when I put orders in, you know, as a med student, you can put an order. Some of you guys may have experience doing so. When you put an order then, it would go like probably penned. And then your resident gets to look at it and say, I agree or disagree and make some changes. Now when I hit order, it like, it just goes and the nurses get it, the PTs get it, whoever I'm sending it to gets it. And sometimes I'm like, wait, 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 like no one wants to confirm that this was right. Like that part of responsibility that transitions so quickly between being a med student and now a doctor is still a little bit weird. Uh, but it's also pretty awesome to say, you know, like my patient needs this, put in the order, Tylenol, they need a lab and then they get it. Um, and to know that like you did it, there's no middleman. That's pretty awesome. So still getting used to it. The next weird slash interesting thing is when you go into a room as a med student, most of the time patients can tell that you're probably a student. Maybe it's the size of your coat, maybe it's just how confident you are. But now, even if you're not confident, you're kind of incompetent as a resident, um, when you introduce yourself as Dr. So-and-so, there's like a level of respect and trust that they instantly give you and it's so weird. Um, they say, yes, doctor, thank you, doctor, yes, doctor. Um, and this is so different. Like I'm not doing anything different than I was when I was a med student, still communicating in roughly similar ways, but there is a level of respect that you just don't understand of how much value they put in that white coat and your name and the amount of training you've gotten. And that's truly gratifying. Uh, it's truly something I hold to be very important and I take seriously. Um, so for all of you guys are trying to say, you know, is this path worth it? You're studying and maybe you're far ways away from even just being a resident promise you it is because hearing somebody call you a doctor and then trusting your opinion um, and thanking you once you discharge them home and they feel like you had some role in their care that's and i just can't explain it uh, but again it's just another weird thing that i've experienced and i'm gonna have to get more and more used to it so let's get into another question i know some of you guys are asking which is what are your hours like man and you know, it depends on your rotation, but for your neuro stroke um, rotations, at least for me, it was roughly starting around 6.30 or 7 o'clock uh, when the night person's going home and then leaving around 4 to 5 p.m. when the night person gets back. Um, so in terms of hours, it's not bad at all. There's going to be medical teams that I'll be joining and rotations I'll be doing pretty soon. 
that are gonna be much worse than that. So um, in terms of hours, that's what they look like now. It's gonna change every week or every rotation. So I'll give you guys an update when I make a next shift. Now let's quickly wrap up the video with some common questions, which is first of all, do I get paid for this? And as a resident, the answer is yes. Um, you do get paid, thankfully. Uh, and it's probably the first time a lot of medical graduates have ever had a job has ever had a paycheck. So I'm really excited to get mine for the first time. It's also the first time my bank account will go up in a very long time um, instead of medical school tuitions, which is destroy it. A lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so yes, we do get paid. It's not doctor, doctor money that you probably get when you finish training, um, but it is something and I'm grateful. And last few questions people like to ask about like studying and free time and honestly the first few days when i got home uh, my free time was limited but that's basically because i would take a very long nap when i got home my stamina was still getting used to being in the hospital for so long um but now you know i can come home and be functional record videos uh, and in terms of studying usually i would set aside around 30 minutes to an hour to just review um things that i did understand about a patient that i'm currently taking care of or a rotation I'm about to join. So nothing very long. There's not like you're studying for an exam per se. Sometimes people study for boards, but most of the time your evenings are free and sometimes your weekends are depending on the rotation you're on. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video, but as a summary, first week of being a doctor, not so bad. You know, I would consider it to be a success. I have a long way to go until I become the doctor that I wanna be, but I'm happy with how this week went learned a lot i know i'm going to continue to learn a lot and with that you know if you guys have more questions and want to learn more about what it's like of being a doctor or a resident comment down below i'll be glad to make another video on a particular topic or just a q a and just rapid fire questions so again if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel to help and support the community and uh, without further ado thank you for being a part of my journey hopefully i've been a little help on yours i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys